until the stars Ooh. align. Yeah, what he said. Uh, that was well done, my boy. I am beginning to see why your companions vouch for you. Don't let it go to your head, of course. Get get out of here, Rule for it. All right. I was doing your work. Now I'm here doing your work, and you trying to take over. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Woo! We did it. <coughs> oh my god. Oh, almost dropped my controller. Uh, after uh, vanquishing the chassis in rather one-sided contest, you return to your wagon and consider your next move. Adequate performance back there. Bro, my flame didn't get touch at all. What are you talking about? Adequate? Yes, adequate. For the next part of our plan, go. Have your reader there consult the stars see where they take you next. I'll give you a hint. It's farther north. It's going to be high up. Um, did this night hear you say high up? And it's going to be cold. We'll see. Come on, my friend. Let's have a look outside, then. That plain Volfer mentioned. I just want you to know, I don't know what he means. We're here because we're going to be free again. We won't be leaving, leaving, living out our days as exiles. That's the only plan as far as I'm concerned. But there's always a catch, right? We'll see what Volfer has to say. Anyway, I'll leave, it to you, uh, leave you to it. And no matter what, we're getting closer, thanks to you. Once more, you look toward the heavens. Since now, your destination... I mean, there's so many of these goddamn rights already. What's next? Is this the last one? Oh, no. I look like this one right here. Um, this is probably the second to last one. Oh, the Golden Star. So, uh, so Solaim. Solaim? The Golden Star shines bright over the highest mountain in all the downside. All right. That's where we're heading. This is where we're heading. <coughs> so now you see it for yourself. You are summoned to the north where looms Mount Aladale, and at the very top, the fall of Solim. Solim. You can find the stars indicate this exact. Wolfid, sir, how do you know? Her smiles back at him, but you sense his thoughts as though he is directing them to you. can read, my boy. Ah, shit. Ah, shit, guys, he can read. Who are you? Oh my god. He turns back to Hidden. Your reader skills, while rare, are not unique, but as I said, I let him do the job. I see that you have something special going on here, which benefits the plan. What plan? I thought this was about our freedom. Oh, fear not, my boy, it is indeed. Plenty of time to tell you all about it on the way. For now, however, you look like you can use some rest. And for that matter, so can I. So if you excuse me. Oh god, he's calling the shots now. You since your companions are exhausted from their recent travels, given the road ahead, you agree to be best to take the night to recover as much as possible. Shit. It's pretty intense. Um, hang on, I gotta be unprofessional for a little bit and get some water, cause, uh, the boy's a little part! So, uh, give me, like, a little point, like, second for you guys. In real time, it probably take, like, 20, 30? I don't know, anyway, I'll be back. Shut up, Joey. All right, I'm back. I got my water right here, right here. Oh, God. Uh. Uh. Woo! All right, I'm ready. Let's continue thy journey. Whee! Oh, never mind. <clears throat> At dawn, Valfred is already up. He reveals to you the pathway through the woods into the cold lands to the north, but the, uh, beyond which lies in your next destination. I'll be going to the Sklorin Shore. You have not yet been to this region of the downside. Wolfred Vol uh, re uh, revealed this to be one of the paths through the woods and some north. All right, let's head on up. Moving on up, moving on up to the east side. Or north side, I should say. It's snowing and shit. Oh, look at this. That's pretty cool, the thing on the side. <clears throat> you get clear of the woods at last and arrive in lands grown cold in the shadow of Mount Alodel. Alodil? Alodel. Alodil? I don't know. You have to make it all the way to the top. Fuck. The sacred mountain of Ho's summit, the rites were first convinced. Whether it's summit, 
is the downside closest point to the Commonwealth or the farthest? None can say. <clears throat> In a moment of, of respite, Wolfric calls everyone together to discuss matters pertaining to the rights and the plan to which he alluded. You band it together with a common faith that freedom from the downside is not impossible. Am I correct? Let me ask you something. What does freedom even mean to you? It means I get to eat chicken nuggets from Wendy's for free. Free of charge. He looks in your direction as he asks, defying you to answer. You cannot sense his own thoughts or the subjects and only know the truth of how you feel. Ho oh, ho, we got some choices. What does freedom mean to you? Doing what you want, achieving inner peace, having no master, going where you please to fill true love, living without fear, nothing at all, remain silent. Okay. <clears throat> Doing what you want, freedom means being able to make decisions on your own terms. Inner peace, freedom means having clear conscience and a carefree heart. Freedom means arranging to no one's will other than your own. Freedom means being able to go where the heart yearns without restrictions and without fear. Kind of like that. Freedom means not having one's strongest feelings and emotions rep uh, repressed or re mm, I don't like that one. Freedom means living life without concern for others, judgment, or approval. Freedom is just another empty goal to chase. Give one's life a false sense of meaning. Freedom means not being forced into responding to such questions. What does freedom mean to me, y'all? Um, I think freedom means to me, it's kind of doing what you want. So whatever you want. Because inner peace, I don't know, man. Inner peace can be a little difficult here and there. Having no master, that can kind of backfire. Going where you please, uh, going where you please can kind of work within itself to feel true love. I don't know. Love can't fix everything. It just can't. If you got demons within yourself, you got to fight your demons. And, um, I mean, I guess you can count love for them. I don't know. I'm going to say doing what you want. Doing what you want. <coughs> <coughs> You tell Volfred that freedom means having choice. If you're able to do what you want, both physical and socially, you are free. He considers your remarks for a you short while. Lentares. Choice is freedom. Then you say if that is all that... Wait. If that is all, then you are free already. Go, my boy. Do as you please. Nobody's here to govern you. I trust, however, that this is not the freedom that you have in mind. Perhaps you seemingly wish to return home and to be left alone. He then turns his attention to the whole group. Now, let me tell you all what freedom means to me. Alright, go ahead. Freedom means to live without fear. Fuck, I should've picked that one. To be able to induce one's curiosities and passions, at least the ones that cause no harm to others, without the constant threat of judgment and Freedom means not being made a criminal for what you know or whom you love or what you choose to think or not think. He looks out toward the distant mountains. <clears throat> Within the next few days, your time in exile could come to an end. You can see the commonwealth once more. And you will be exalted there, given the highest honor, the opposite of how you got here. But you would not be truly free. I think at the least you will become com complacent to an ancient system that would uh, deem to cast down others such as you. It is a system whose well-intentioned founding principles have long been lost. And the eight scribes, if they're out there still, have made quite clear they should not intervene firsthand. That is where you come in. <clears throat> he turns to you and everyone again, looking to each of you. Long have I wished to gather such a group that together you might see that seeking freedom only for yourself is too modest of a goal. You share a higher calling now. The plan then is this. We free each other from the downside through the rights, then we meet up on the other side we organize each new moon at dusk we join together at the spirals uh, sp spiral sanctum we need as many of us there as possible my angels on the other side shall explain the rest huh okay you're plotting a revolt just so i am asking a lot you do have other options the site however is now it's not one of them oh excuse me the reading myself you know by now that we can see through it but you need not to be part of this nor it is my interest to quarries i don't know how to say that 
you. You may go your own way if you wish, live out your remaining days here like so many others. So if anyone among you prefers that, if you cannot see yourself, continue to strive together in the commonwealth as you're doing here, then speak now. Walford well, pauses for a time, examine each member of the group. No one stirs. Very good. Some of you consider yourself friends, some of us others not, but all of you are bound together through the rights and are integral to our plan. Remember that. You seek true freedom, you will not find it waiting for you in the commonwealth, but together you can bring it about both for yourself and others, that is my promise. And he lets out a long breath. <clears throat> That's it. I ask you all to think on this and let's recon reconven re reconven along our journey to the summit. Both returns toward the mountains, leaving you to consider what he said and plot the wagon northward path. Shit, you kind of just gave him no choice to just threw it at this last minute. Alright, so that's the next area then. Mm. Oh, that's some good water. Beyond lines, Mount Alalaladil. <clears throat> I suggest we make camp here for the base of the mountain, for we shall need our spirits and our strength to make this ascent. Fuck. Woo! Alright, the Beyond Their Crystal Seeks Tizo. Tizo? Why do you seek Tizo? Why do you seek Tizo? Why do you seek Tizo? Tizo! I need you, friend. <clears throat> Alright, let's go ahead and put Tizo in here. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna skip all this dialogue and, uh, See, see, see what she gotta say against my boy Tizo. Tips on the unique banner server app. Oh, sweet now. <coughs> Tizo! Yeah, friend. Alright. Listen well, imp. You answer to me here. Tizo, in here, his understanding is prepared to begin the trial. Nice. You know the formalities, of course. Show me then what you have learned thus far about the rights. Here in this trial, it shall be just you. My Beyonders and your lovely reader. Alright. Gotta be careful because Tizo's thing is uh blowing people up. Oh. Um Stop. Okay. Alright. I may have to Oh, what? Stop. <laughs> yeah. Uh, stop. Leave Tizo alone. Ah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, hold on. She is beating my ass right now. <laughs> I forgot they can do that. Stop. Oh wait, what? It didn't... I might lose a round, guys, because Tizo is a... Uh... No. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. I'm kind of see how it works now. Damn, why are you so fast? Jesus Christ. Yep. Fall for the bait. Uh, I'm not going to make it. Damn. Uh, come on, Tizo. Fuck! Oh! Hold on, man. You can't be doing that. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, yeah, we can do better. We can do better. We can do better. Come on, Tiza. We got this. We can We can do this. We can show her that us, uh, you, you imp can be, uh, can be very, very useful. Try this again. <clears throat> All right. 
So it's two against one. I lied. It's actually three against one. Okay. Okay. Mooncrest. Thought. Haha! <laughs> oh wait, no, I gotta throw it in. Because it's um. Oh wait, no, I didn't grab the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Throw it. Ah, uh, that's my fault. Yep. I'm gonna use this. Yeah, come on, Tizo. Yeah, we just had to play a little bit smarter. We got this now. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. They got me. They got me. They got me. They got me. Can I like? No, uh, no. So once I pick up, I'm committed. I am committed. Once the ball picks up. All right. Well, they got that one. But now it's two against. It's two against one. Okay. Damn. Yo, why are you so fucking fast? Oh my god! That was not supposed to happen. Uh, okay. Uh, we can't go out like that. Damn. That would be nice if I made it. No. Haha! <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> Run! Run, Tiza! <laughs> Alright! Oh, we gotta get one more. We gotta get one more. We gotta be careful. Damn! Nope! You fucked up! Uh, I can't go out like that. All right, Let's try this again. We got this teeth though. I think I know what my issue is. We got this. Watch this. You ready? You ready for this? Watch this. Mhm. Mm Believe it or not, Tizo can fly. Boom. Yeah. We got this, Tizo. We got this now. We got this, we got this, we got this. Ah, damn. Alright, alright. So we got that, we got that, okay. Mm hmm. Yep. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah! Come on, Tizo. We got this now. We got this in the bag now. I know how you play. T uh, the thing, the thing about Tizo, he's not really aggressive like some of the other. Oh wow! The thing about Tizo, he's not really like, sort of like the aggressive type. So you kind of gotta like gauge it out. Mm -hmm. Tizo is not aggressive. You gotta Tizo is kinda like a counterattack. That's that's what he kind of explained like here. Cause they're gonna do that, you can fly out over. But uh that happens. Damn, he's so fucking fast. I hate that. I just hate how fast they are. Oh my god. They wasn't this bad against even uh Jody. Back up. Oh, nice. That didn't sound good. This car is honking outside. Sounds like it's about to crash into somebody. Ah! That's fine. I want you to make me drop it. So I can do this. Yeah. 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 That's how you do it. Third time to charm. Right. 
Good job, Tizo. I'm proud of you. A worthwhile for Imp, your performance was significant. You passed my test. Your procedures may have well approved. Congratulations, order. Do you your lovely reader? To Tizo! As I drink my water. Mm. Alright. <coughs> cool. Here you You took a closer look and a new artifact in possession. What's this? Tizo flutter and zip abilities cause less stamina than usual. That is so useful. Except the war. Um, alright. <clears throat> um, where did... Oh, he's still in here. Alright, there you are, my boy. There's something I wish I wanted to say. Oh! Right, it seems he has reasoning then. You do know what it means to be a reader. Those such as we... We are limited to reading pages from a book. We are not. Though your abilities in this, I sense is nascent still. Mer flash is uncontrollable. I see as well now they haven't told you yet, your friends, and that explains a lot. They haven't told you, readers, such as you cannot go free. What do you mean? I wonder why you would insist on pressing on forward with this group in the light of this. The answer then was plain, you simply did not know or fully realize. They did not deceive you, by the way. There is no reason they would know themselves other than Tariq, who shall not influence your thinking in such matter. Rather, I had expected when we for, uh, when at first we met that you already knew the truth of this, having read the passage in the Book of Rights, which states it plain. Only those who shall conduct the rights firsthand shall walk the path toward enlight enlightenment and become eligible to regain their freedom. Perhaps you have gotten to that part just yet. Briggs free from you and looks at you again, and he speaks to you as normal. It has plain that you are not in adequate condition to conduct the rights, and this group values you as a reader. I wish only to ensure you understand what you are getting yourself into here. Despite whatever hopes and dreams and promise might have been shared, I do not think the rights can help you to return, if that's what you had in mind. So once again, I invite you to depart, and I will see it to you you are compensated. Do not misunderstand. If it is your wish to remain, then you are welcome. But this journey we are on, it has no guarantees. Not for you, nor of any one of us. You understand? Man, I made it this far. I don't care. The warning is a little is of little consequence to you. You have always known these keen to war against one course of action or another. None of it swayed you, as you never shall forge your path. Very well. A lack of concern is fine with me, although I do not share your outlook, as long as yours is not lack of understanding. Now that we have much at stake here in this way, much more than a shot at going back into that commonwealth, which cast us down here to begin with. Sounds like you intend to stick around, then we have lots more time to chat as it's in the Mount sacred mountain in the coming days. Until then, it's gonna walk out. It's gonna walk out. Fine then. Alright. That was a lot that has happened. Um, let's discuss the plan then. <clears throat> Earlier, Volfer called for the group meeting, presumably to reveal his plan in more detail, and said he revealed some bad news. Wait, what are you saying? What I'm saying, my boy, is that while you can indeed get yourself out of here, it can't be all of you at once. We earn our way back one by one or not at all. But I thought I swore that we go free together. We may go free together, yes, uh, wait, together yet, but it's going to take time and this is the only first phase. You, Hewitt, and the others exchange lenses. Let me make this plainer for you still. Here is how the coming days are going to unfold. First, we're going to ascend Mount there to the north. You might not think this wagon fits for it, though rest assured it's made the journey many times. Next, we'll pass through the scribes' gates. Only the worthy pass through there, as your reader could attest. If you did not merely skim the chapter of the book, ah oh, shit. Afterwards, we reach the fall of Solom and meet our adversaries in the rites. They are to be the Templars, led by the demon Agnes. You'll know him when you see him. Both you and they shall choose someone from your respective ranks. Then, once one of the triumphant prevails, there somebody will be wished home to the Commonwealth. Wished home to the Commonwealth? Precisely. Once returned, our somebody is taken in and clothed and fully pardoned. The Commonwealth knows about all this. The same Commonwealth that says a sentence into exiles forever and freedom from the downside is impossible. Many of these details the scribes themselves <clears throat> wish to be kept secret. Former exiles and the leaders of Commonwealth alike have good incentive to protect those secret wealth. 
So then that's it. We climb the mountain. Someone goes back and everyone else stays. For most of those participating in the rites, yes, that's it. But I like your condemnation and indeed for us that it isn't it. At all, if one of us return, it shall just be a step along our path. However, let that sit for now. Gather your strength while talking in on our way up. Well, if we leave the rest of you to consider what he said. Damn. Fuck. Only one of these guys gonna escape? Who's it gonna be? Um, resources, forests, you know what? Go we'll mentor somebody. Um. Damn, I don't know who to mentor now. Because, <laughs> like, now you're telling me they're gonna, like, just, just get out of here now? Maybe Tizo. I'm going to you, Tizo. Ooh. Almost to a level up. Alright, that's fine. Oh, man! I'm nervous! I'm fucking nervous. Let's continue the journey. Alright, let's climb this mountain. You have not been to this- oh yeah. Ascend the mountain! So like... I don't know. 